Hi everyone, Sarah here, how are you? I'm just doing a little project today which you might be interested in. I've got this um, galvanised tin jug and these are really fun to do up. Chalk paint sticks really well to tin and metal and these kinds of things are quite easy to find um, in op shops and so on. I've done quite a few of these over the last year and they just come up really nicely, very cheap to do and make um, nice presents. You can put flowers in them, plants, um, kitchen utensils, whatever you fancy. So just to get started, I'm just going to adjust this so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to use duck egg blue for this particular jug. Um, it's a really nice, just very gentle colour. I'll probably need two coats of paint. So the first coat of paint I just use neat. Really nice, thick consistency. Goes on, as you can see, like really quite a thick consistency. Sometimes, um, like you can sometimes get away with actually just using one coat of paint because this Artisan brand is so thick. Um, I normally do one coat, leave to dry. If I can still see tin peeking through or I can see my brush marks uh, when it's fully dry, then I do a second coat. As you can see, really quick to do. I'm just going to do this one coat all over. I'm going to do the inside of the handle as well. Just kind of work my brush into the little gaps. Don't worry if it's not absolutely perfect because we're going to do a second coat anyway. And um, I often use a bit of sandpaper to distress on my chalk paint projects anyway, which really hides a multitude of sins and you get that lovely time-worn feel. So, oh, there you can see my lovely cheap um, price tag on the bottom. I think it was just maybe four or five dollars. Um, anyway, first coat's on. There you go, you can see it's slightly streaky. I have missed a couple of bits under there, but I'm not at all worried about that. I'm gonna leave that to dry and once it's dry, which um, in the Aussie climate, it'll literally be dry in about 15, 20 minutes. Um, if you're in a cold, damp climate like my British friends, leave it a bit longer or get the hairdryer out and blow dry it. Anyway, I'm going to stop fiddling with that and just leave it. And then um, I will come back to show you, I'll do another coat and then I'll come back and show you how to do kind of the pretty bit with a bit of decoupage and to just to finish it off. So now that my two coats of paint are dry, you can see that it's actually, the finish is really smooth and chalk paint is really amazing for that because it um, is a self leveling paint which means that um, even though it goes on and you can see the brush strokes and everything else, once it dries, you get this really nice matte finish. And at the moment, because I haven't put a top coat on it, it is that um, velvety kind of chalky finish. If you see, um, if I use a little bit of sandpaper to distress around the edges, you can see the chalk, um, it literally comes off in a chalky dust. And I'm not going to do very much distressing on this, but if you use that technique on furniture, you do get that really nice sort of rustic look, like a little bit weathered and battered. Um, and you can distress as much as you want until you do your top coat, which seals the chalk paint in. Anyway, before I do my top coat, I'm just going to add a little bit of decoupage. So I get my images from a lovely website called The Graphics Fairy and you can find like really pretty vintage things. I've got birds, I've got soap labels, um, floral images, lots of vintage postcards and that sort of thing. And I've literally have just printed these out on my home printer, um, ordinary paper, but they're fun to use. They're free to download. And I think the one that I'm going to use today is, um, I quite like this sort of vintage fan. 
think that might look quite nice on my jug. So I've the medium that I tend to use is this flat matte sealer, which is a flat um, furniture varnish, and it dries to a really matte finish, invisible. It's um, very easy to use as well, so you don't get brush marks and so on. It's great for sticking things on and finishing off your piece all in one. So I've decanted a bit into here, and as you can see, it's quite a milky consistency, it's very thick, gloopy, um, opaque, like a, like milk, but once it, you actually paint it on, it dries absolutely clear. You won't see it at all. So I'm just going to start with the front here. And I might have to turn this around so I can see the positioning. Just a second. Okay, I'm just going to do it slightly off off center like that. And this sealer I'm going to use all over over the top of my my fan. I've got a cloth here just to smooth out air bubbles as I go. Just really gently so I don't tear the paper. That's pretty good. And then just a light coat of this matte sealer all over. So at the moment you can see the difference where I've applied it. But once it dries, you're not going to see those brush strokes. And it means the chalk paint's sealed in, the decoupage is sealed in. It makes it waterproof so that if you do decide to put um, water in your jug and flowers and that sort of thing, if you get splashes on your jug that it's it's wipeable, it's really it's durable. For any of those splashes and so on. And I am just going to do a coat on the handle as well. And just inside that bit of handle. Okay, I'm going to leave that to dry and before I put some finishing touches on it. So once my varnish was dry, that's all sealed now. The, you won't get that um, chalky residue coming off. That's very durable. And I've just added a few things just for fun. A um, little bit of rustic twine, some tiny keys that I found in a craft store and a label. Just gives it that fun vintage look. Um, which is quite fun to do but again you can you know choose any sort of um, style and so on and they, these are just so quick and fun to make make great presents as well thanks for watching